there is no gift you can give to God that is as compared to his soul. He said there is joy in heaven over one soul that repented. Over one soul that repented. I, I want you to understand that everyone you see commanding a standing result are men and women that have come to follow and obey divine instruction. The book of Job speaking, it said, if they obey and serve me, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. That is, behind every visitation is obedience. Somebody said obedience. Nobody changes level just waking up for that to happen. It takes obedience. It takes obedience. The greatest asset a believer can have is the asset of having a man of God that gives you divine instruction. Behind every divine instruction is divine intervention. Am I speaking to someone here? He was speaking, he said, if they obey and serve him, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. So much are pleasures. Every time we pray, Lord, bless me. Lord, increase me. Lord, open the heavens. What God checks is, what have you obeyed? What instruction given by him have you obeyed? We have a generation that fails to take instruction, obey instructions, but they want God to bless them. Praise the Lord. Everyone want God to bless them, but few want to obey the instructions of God. It is divine instruction that puts you ahead of your contemporaries. It's not shouting. Everybody can pray, but few people have the ability to obey instruction. If other prayers, people have been praying in churches, God have answered them. The world would have been in heaven on earth. Do you know prayers people have prayed? Do you know how many people that have shouted, Oh God, kill all my enemies. And as we are coming back, the person you have first seen at the gate is the person you think is your enemy. The most powerful man on earth is a man that obeys divine instruction. Even when you go to the other side, they will give you instruction. Do it like this, follow like this, follow like this. When you disobey, it won't work. It is divine instruction that puts you ahead of your peers. That is every time you are crying for a change of level, what you are expected to pray is, Lord, what must I do? What step are you expecting me to take? Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. What step? He takes instruction to command unlimited and unusual resolve. So much that instruction. And what is, in, what is the instruction God is giving us this month? He has commanded us to go. Somebody shall go. He said, go ye to the world and preach this gospel, making disciples of all nations. That's the greatest command he gave to us. If you are not ready to go, forget about what God has. I have seen people that God, by following this instruction, God moved them from where they are to a platform of celebration. Listen to me. Every blessings God gave to you or we give to you is for a major purpose. What was the purpose? John 3, 16. Everything in the world is around John 3, 16. What is John 3, 16? For God so loved the world. For God so loved what? Talk to me. So what? Love the word that he gave. Another translation said that he sent. His only begotten son to save the world. 
God was so involved in the world affairs that he needed to restore the world back to him and he didn't look for anything. He didn't kill animals. He didn't give oil. He had to give the only son he has. That's why the Bible says, what shall he profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Now, what that scripture is saying here is that the whole world is not compared to a soul. That is, God can pay any man that is ready to win a soul for him what the world can pay. That scripture, am I speaking to someone here? You see, you want an unusual open doors, then you must love what he loves. You want unusual breakthrough, you must partner with his intention. You must partner with his utmost desire. What desire is that? John 3, 6, 10. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should be saved and not perish, but have everlasting life. God will bless you when you make up your mind to partner with him on what? On soul winning. We started this series on Thursday, and we continue on it tonight, today, this morning. Winning souls, part three. What God will show you now, you will just go out and seize your word. I thought you say amen. amen. See, it is not hard to get things from God, but we are missing the link. It's not hard to command results. We are missing the link. You are praying. It seems God is far. God is not far. Matthew 6 33. He said, For but now seek ye first what? Talk to me. What? The kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be what? Added. As a child of God, you should live the additional life. Things that ought to be added to you are crying over them. Car should be added, marriage should be added. Children should be what? There are people that go to our valleys to look for children when it ought to be added. The doctor have said all nonsense to you. Doctors are good, they are trying. But in those days, how many doctors did our father you? You are to live the additional life here. When God sees that you need this one, you should add it to you automatically. Am I speaking to somebody here? So winning. So much are so winning. Shout it louder. Shout it like a Christian here. Now that is why I want to give us what we call so winning tools. So winning tools. But before we read, before we go into that, let's open to the book of Luke 15 10 quickly. Luke 15 10. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Luke 15 10. And whosoever touched anything, Luke 15 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in heaven over the angels of God, over one sinner that does what? Repented. There is joy where? Over many sinners. One over one sinner that repented. There is joy in heaven. Somebody say there is joy in heaven. Say it louder. Shout it louder. Now I want to ask you, you can't make heaven happy and heaven won't make you happy. Is it possible? Talk to me. Is it possible? No, talk to me. Is it possible? That is, you want heaven to smile at you. How many times have you made heaven smile? That is the key to making heaven smile is so winning. He said there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repented. 
over one. That is, if you make heaven rejoice, automatically heaven looks at you and make you smile. That's the key. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. Now, John 4, quickly, John 4, 35 to 36. John 4, 35 to 36, quickly. I want us to read together. Everybody, let's read as a church. You're in a class. Want to go? Say not here. There are yet four months. And then commit harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already. To what? To harvest. Verse 36, quickly. Verse 36. And he that reapeth, receive it what? And gather fruit unto it. Continue. That both he that soweth and he that reapeth may receive what? Together. Receive to what? Rejoice together. He said, he that reapeth receiveth wages. And the wages does not end here. It transcends to life internal. Am I talking to a church here? That is so winning puts you on the payroll of God. You can come to a point where God is the one paying you. Am I talking to a church here? Where who is paying you? God. You can come to that realm. And you know when God is paying you, you are on automatic pay. I have said it before and let me say it again. You don't prosper because you are working hard. There are many people working hard that are beggars. You prosper because the hand of God is upon you. And the fastest and cheapest way to provoke the hand of God on a man is to love what he loves. Can I say something to you? God can do anything for a soul winner. God can do anything. For who? I didn't hear that. For who? I've seen it walk over and over. God can go any length for a soul winner. God can solve any crisis for a soul winner. But your problem is that you don't know what you need. That is why you are in need. A lady was believing God to get uh, pregnant after marriage. Several years married, no children. And she had a teaching like this. And she said in her heart, she will test this God for one month. And she started. The first week she went out, brought crowd to church. Second week she went out, brought crowd to church. The third week, as she, there's this lady as she has been disturbing. As she went to the lady, the lady now called her elder sister. The elder sister of this girl, that lady that is doing outreach. He said, warn your sister. Let her not disturb me again. The sister heard it and called her younger sister. And guess what he said to her? He said, if your God is that powerful, why has he not given you children? Is that not strong enough for anybody to be discouraged? No, talk to, is that not strong enough? But she wasn't discouraged. Instead, she turned and looked at heaven. What did she say? She said, God, now you that they talk to. And she continued her outreach. That same month, she took in. That same month, she took in. Gave birth to three children at once. Two boys, one girl. Overtook her sister that said, if your God is so powerful, why is he not giving you children? Until they mock you, God can make you. Until they mock you, God can make you. I have seen this thing work. I have seen God raise people from nothing to become major. By engaging in what he loves. And what God loves is so winning. There is no gift you can give to God that is as compared to his soul. He said there is joy in heaven over one soul that repented. Over one soul that repented. Not over the man that bought a car. Not over the man that built a house. Over one soul that repented. There is joy in heaven. 
I release that joy into your life. If you believe it, you say louder, amen here. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something about soul winning. Soul winning is a universal card. You can use it in any ATM machine. The ATM machine of health, you can use it. The ATM of machine of marriage, you can use it. The ATM of machine of job, you can use it. The ATM of machine of long life, you can use it. Do you know why? The reason why Jesus has not come is because there are many people still in the house of Satan. Many people still in the house of Satan. And God is still waiting for them to come to him. See, Jesus will not come until the whole world hears about Jesus. That is so winning. Is a master tool to getting your heavens open. If that repeat receive wages, you will receive your own. I thought you say amen. amen. In Galatians chapter 6, from verse 7 to 8, said, He said, Don't be weary in well doing. Hello? Oh, sorry. He said, Whatsoever man soweth, thou shall he what? Reap. He that soweth to the spirit will reap life everlasting. And to sow to the spirit is to be a genuine soul winner. Genuine one. Every soul you win, there is a coin in their mouth. Jesus told Peter, he said, go to the sea and catch a fish. Open his mouth, you will see coin. Pay for me and pay for you. Every soul you win to Christ, there is coin in their mouth. There is coin where? Talk to me, there is coin where? In their mouth. Is the greatest business anybody can venture into. I have seen it work. You want to get a job? You say you don't have work? Just tell God, Lord, I dedicate this one month to soul winning and see if God won't give you a job. It's a master weapon. Somebody shall master weapon. This month, you will have resolve. I said this month, you will have resolve. I said this month, you will have resolve. I said this month you have resolved. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Now quickly, what are the things I am to say when I go out for soul winning? Because that's where a lot of people are confused. They go out, they don't know what to say. What am I to say? Look up, look at me, everyone. Because we're going to pray extensively this morning. What are the things I am to say when I go out for soul winning? Praise the Lord. Because there's what to say. Somebody say there's what to say. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 6. Quickly. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 6. Let's read together. The voice said, cry, and said, what shall I cry? You see that? There is what to say. He said, A voice said, Cry, and I responded, What shall I cry? Now, what shall I cry? He said, Oh, he said, Cry, all flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. That is, there is what to say. Somebody said, There's what to say. I didn't hear that. Say it louder. Say it like a Christian here. There is what to say. You don't just say anything. That's what I said. Receive grace. Jonah chapter 1 verse 3. Quickly. Jonah chapter 1 verse 3. Quickly. Let's read. But Jonah rose up to, to what? To flee unto Tashis from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tashis. So he paid the fair day of and went down into it to go with what from where presence. presence of the lord listen that was the case of jonah god gave him he said go and preach to nineveh but he was running to tashes there was a specific word given to jonah there is what to say somebody said there's what, there what to say okay good if there is what to say what are the things i'm to say one you must understand that a soul winner is a wise man. 
No foolish man can win so. No foolish man. A foolish man will go out and say, our pastor say, more win so, more win so. No, 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 no. No. See, that's why they call them the wise master builder. One a soul winner is a wise man. A soul winner is a wise man. Two. A soul winner, you must go as one that God have sent. God have sent you. The day you see, the day you gave your life to Christ, you were automatically enlisted into those that God sent. God sent you. Mark 16, 15. Let's read. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. 15 to 16. Let's read. And he said unto them, Go ye into what? All the world. And preach what? The gospel. To every world. Creature. He, what he said to them is what he said to you. Hello? That is, you must go as one that God sent. If you are going to be effective in soul winning. Because let me say something to you. If you are not a soul winner, there are things you will pray for forever. They will come. Until people mock you because of God, God can make you. It's a law. You see, it's just like a primary six year old guy saying he wants to enter university. No. The law is that you have to pass through secondary school. Am I talking to somebody here? The law of greatness in this kingdom is that people must mock you because of Christ. That's why I said, happy is it when all men mock you. He said, that is when your glory have just started. But before you go out, you have to be properly trained. Because where people get discouraged and get messed up is when they are not trained. That is true. You must know that you are sent. You are sent. He said, go ye to the world and preach the gospel to every creation, to everybody, rich or poor. As far as a living soul is a candidate to bring to church. Am I speaking to some persons here? Two, you must know that you are sent. Somebody say, I'm sent. And with knowing that you are sent, it builds inner confidence in you. That knowledge alone knowing that i'm not just doing my own thing i am sent i am sent to this my office the place you are walking you are not there by mistake god position you because of him until you learn to represent god anywhere you are found you cannot be outstanding at the initial state they might tell you, oh you are not a pastor you are not. no that's mocking until they mock you let me repeat that to you god can't make you you go with that confidence that God sent me. God sent me. With that kind of mindset, before you know, God will just be lifting you. God will just be lifting you. Those that mock you, before you know, they will see God making you. And before you know, God will always want to prove himself to be right. They will not tell you, of the truth, this thing is working. This thing is working. That will be your testimony. I thought you say, amen. Thank you, Lord. Three. When you go out for evangelism or you're trying to invite somebody to church listen there is how to do it the third way is that you bless the person before you put the invitation nobody reject blessing permit me to even say i want blessing no mortal man that is with his right senses will reject blessing what blessing does is that you open the heart of the people to you you go to them look up everyone you go to them you are buying so ah, god bless you that's why there's a church in this country that language is bless you. Because what blessing does is that you open the heart of the person to you. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is anybody you are inviting to church, you throw in the blessing. First of all, you know that you are sent. Anywhere you are sent. That consciousness will expect devils around your territory. Three, you go with the mind of blessing. You bless them. Somebody say bless them. Say it louder. This month is strategical. By the end of this month, we will have commotion of testimony. Amen. We will be looking for space to park cars and space to put people. Amen. If you believe it, you say louder amen here. Amen. And the God that sent me, we announce you with his blessing. The blessings will be tangible to all. I thought you say better amen. amen. Four. You want to invite someone? 
or bring him to Christ, you share the good things you notice about Jesus and about your church. It's not only bad things people should be saying about church. When you are inviting somebody, what do you like about your church? What have you experienced? You share to the person. If you come to my church, eh, you will understand the world. If you come to my church, people are getting married in my church. People are giving birth safely in my church. People are prospering in my church. You share the good thing you know about Jesus and about your church with them. You don't just go to people, follow me to church, and you expect them to follow you. No. When there is powers from foundation holding them, even some that are in church, the devil wants to take them out by misinterpreting what I'm teaching. Hello? You know, there are people that are sitting, Pastor will be talking, saying, Nami, Pastor, they talk today. They will go to their house, say, Nami, now, now, Pastor, they talk. Nami, Pastor, they talk. This month, there will be influx of multitude. Amen. I thought you say, Amen. amen. No power of hell will be able to resist it. I don't like the way you're saying, Amen. amen. The multitude will trunk you. So much are multitude. Amen. Say, We are in for multitude. If you believe it, let it be at the top of all. Say we are in for multitude. The good you know about your church can cancel the nonsense they know. The, no church is neutral. When the devil says that a church is a threat in the community, the first thing the devil does is to paint the wrong picture of the church. That is his master weapon. Yes. It would, because he knows, see, the devil knows every pastor's capacity. He knows those that are that have the capacity to seize a town in terms of the word. I'm not talking about prayer, in terms of depth of the world. That is that's why you have to go and counter what they know. You just tell them, I'm not going to leave the church. A visit will convince you. And when they come based on the fire that comes, they'll tell you, they'll say, Thank you. This month, nobody will be left out. I say no member of your family, no member of your friend, no of your friend, your area will be left out. Yeah. That is, we must market Jesus here. That is, you tell them the good things that God is doing in your church. The good things. You start by yourself. See my life? There is one thing God has done for you. Your life is by testimony. You first seek and you recover his testimony. And when you are thanking, sharing what God has done for you to them, God will not be moved to do more. Am I speaking to someone here? Can you not see that it's a strategy to advance our life? In the process, the church too will be advanced. This year, you will have enough testimony. Amen. If you believe it, can you say louder amen here? Amen. Five. You target the area of need of the person you want to invite. Everybody has a need. Somebody say everybody. Am I right? Some their need is marriage. Some their need is a job. Some is health. Some is children. Some is that they are always fighting their marriage. Fighting their marriage. You target an area of need. You present it. Say, my brother, this thing that has been given, just visit our church. Don't you think God can visit? Visit. Just a visit. For you to come on Sunday without a soul, it shows it shows that as I'm talking, you are sleeping. And the sleep says, you say, partial death sleep. Because even though you are sleeping, no matter, the world should enter now. Lift up your right hand, shout, I'm a soul winner. Shout it louder. Shout it like a Christian here. Are you a soul winner? See, if you engage this thing with your heart, these seven weeks, eh, operation one for ten, and you hit it, God begin to raise great men and women. Am I talking to somebody here? And how God does it, he starts with those that made it happen. Stretch your hand towards me. As many that their hearts will be in this project, if God truly sent Lighthouse, you will be the next blessing to be announced to your world. I don't like it the way you're saying amen here. I said, I don't like the way you're saying amen here. That is target their area of need. And put it before them. Come with them. See, when you are targeting their area of need, tell them to write their expectation and bring it to church. Start acting as their prophet. See, when you make it happen for somebody, God will make it happen for you. Am I see? This is how it works. Manifestation in this kingdom is not for children, it's for sons. He said the endless expectations of creations waited for the manifestations 
of sons of God. And sons are people that take responsibility. Not bench warmers. Not bench warmers. Not that you come to church today, you won't come tomorrow. Manifestations of the sons of God. Your time has finally come. Amen. I thought you said better, amen. amen. That when you tell the person, write your prayer request, bring it. You are already manifested as a son and a daughter. Six. When they complain their challenges to you, don't condemn them. Don't tell them that you are going through this thing because of sin. You are a sinner. See, see the way they smoke. Now that you did so. Don't do that. Don't condemn them. Tell them Jesus loved them. They'll tell you, I'm still smoking. Say, come. Am I talking to somebody here? The transformation in church is not instant. It's gradually. Gradually. That's what the Bible says. As we behold him as in a glass, we are changed from one level of glory. That is, don't condemn them. Tell them God know your weakness. They come. Anybody that condemns people for you is worse than the people they are condemning. Am I speaking to you? Church is for people that are not normal. The day you normal, you die, you go heaven. You are not normal. That's why you are still here. You will not be normal so that you can depend on God for everything. There is no normal man. That is why somebody says you are not normal. It's not an insult. You should look into that area that you say you are not normal. Like somebody say you are idiot. You think idiot is idiot is an office that you just occupy part time. When you know better, you can come out of that office. Am I talking to somebody here? It's not an insult. That's why you need to bring. You see, this is the kind of place people in this town should be coming. And for them, you say, how would they hear without a preacher? How would they preach without them being sent? That's why I'm sending you. God told me to send you. God told me to send you. He said that is where the breakthrough you are waiting for is lying. You will break through this year. I thought you said better, amen. amen. When I was preparing for this meeting, do you know what God told me? He said, Today's attendance will be those that need this thing that will be in church. I said, Sir, uh, he said, Yes, so he said, Because he said, By doing church, don't get angry. God, I want to position some set of people, you will be a monk. You won't just be hearers and not doing. You will be a monk. As a young guy, you can set up your outreach team. Say for the next seven weeks, we are going out. As a young lady, you can set up an agenda for so winning. Okay, I want to be doing this for this set of people. I'm bringing that to you. If God not change your life, I will tear this Bible. I have seen it work. I have seen it work. It is foolishness to be ashamed of what is gainful. God is not in any church more than any church. It's just the knowledge. God is a winner. God is in Christ. Shut up. They do things that you are not ready to do. You see a young man has an outreach team. Or Sunday is bringing 50 people. How will God prosper him? And connect him to people on top? God does not raise irresponsible people. He only raises responsible men. Stretch your hand towards me. Your time of announcement has finally come home. I don't like the way you are saying amen. amen. Any power that will not make this thing happen is not born. They try it, God will collapse them. Amen. Literally, they will confess and run mad. Amen. And everyone that engage in this in their heart, the God that sent me, we publicly announce their glory and riches. Amen. It doesn't take God anything to settle you. Just one man you will meet and settle you for life. And you will meet the man. I say you meet the man. Amen. I say you will meet the man. Amen. As we begin to round up. Six or seven. Seven. Show them light. Show them light. What's the name of this church? Show them light. Anybody that is not here is in darkness. Show them light. Show them light. Somebody show them light. Tell them you are in darkness. Come to light. Come to light. Now, write this benefit of light that you will tell them so that when you are talking to them, you tell them the benefit of light. Why they need light. One. Light is the cure for darkness. And every sickness people suffer is as a result of darkness. Pro darkness has results. Darkness has children. 
one some of the result of darkness is failure sickness disease affliction poverty lack wretchedness once a man enter darkness all these things could manifest you just see the man no money people go promise you know go happen promise and fail somebody will tell you i will give you money it won't happen have you not seen people they promise money and it doesn't come they will tell you, just send your account number 24 hours you'll get the transfer you'll get the alert you after you send the, the account or block your number they are in darkness have you not seen people that move from sickness every month sickness 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 i told myself the only way i said light 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 cure darkness two light gives speed and you don't forget that we're in a dark age the end of the world is dark age we are all man of disease sickness is flying everywhere poverty something they don't you don't know they can rope it on your neck light is the mystery behind speed the brighter your headlight the faster you run the speed the more speed you gain you see if you want to run you tell them if you want to run faster this time come for light share some of the things you hear here light light you will have light you share light with them light give you speed light gives you confidence most evil happens at night but when does there's light your confidence is restored you can shout who is there but when you walk in the darkness you are quiet hello you are afraid you where they come you the fear you where they go you the fear fear everywhere that's why in this age now there is fear everywhere i'm telling you i'm telling you people that has forgotten you they will give you contract have you seen contract one cake is one million supply it every month for the next one year it's not for everyone the one that takes the word of the prophet and run with it is telling you his souls his souls his souls like give confidence light destroys fear and give confidence light gives joy it brings joy you tell them you need joy come lighthouse is here lighthouse is here stretch your hand towards me stretch it i vow to the god of glory stretch it everyone that we carry out this instruction this month operation 10 for one if god you have sent me make them an amazement and a wonder to your generation if you believe it can you amen roar like fire now if you believe it can you amen be the loudest yeah now somebody shall light light brings joy light brings what we call progress 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 you tell them you want progress you need lighthouse you see that is why this month if god sent me you will make progress that you share light with them you share light with them lastly okay i'll say this i'll say the last one tell them their story can change let me tell you something forget what you are going through this month don't pray for yourself this month just pray for souls that card given to you i will tell you how to use it we are applying some mystery that will change everything tell them your story can change the person can say okay but you if they complain about money why god never change yourself you say don't worry it all settle see you see it is what you say that god will do see these things you have to practice them to see them am i speaking to a church here you have to practice them to see them you have to practice them to see them lastly you speak with boldness these are the tools of soul winning there are internal benefit of soul winning health is there long life is there can i shock you you can't be a soul winner and die young never 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 see that bearer fruit john 15 let's read it as we close with it john 15 from verse 1 
John 15 from verse 1. Let's read it. Want to go? I am the true vine, and my host, father is the husband man. Verse 2. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. He poured it. Fruit. Can you see? You see, when you start being fruit, God pays attention to your matter. That's James 15. Go to 16. John 15, 16. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's read together. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, it will what? That's automatic answer prayers. Nobody is trying to deceive you, it's in the world. Whatsoever means anything. You see, God is a master communicator. Do you know why he uses the word whatsoever? As you may say, and when you now ask for a wife, you say, I don't already get a wife. My own no day yet. But he said, whatsoever. The word whatsoever means universal port. You know, you have universal charger. Eh? It can charge anything. Now, you are not the one to put your own desire. Lord, I have fulfilled my part. Ten souls. These are their names. They are in church. I want a miracle house in six months. And when you are asking for the miracle house, the only money you have in your account is 16,000. Normally, it's, it, to a normal man, that's madness. You finish asking, two days has passed, three days, one week has passed. The following week, you have even forgotten that you prayed that prayer. I'm, I'm interpreting prophecy to you. Just in one contact, you did the job for two months. You finish everything. You make 50 million. Because, see, I am under an influence throughout this month. It will happen. Amen. Write it down. Unless God didn't send me. It will happen. It will, it will happen. Just, just, just obey. If you obey and it doesn't happen, I will tell my life, obey. Obey. There is power on this altar. You are blessed. Anything. Someone say anything. Bring out the card. Rise up on your feet.